Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In this video, I'm gonna go over a few of my tips and tricks and ways that can help you pass the gun range challenges in GT Online, the gun running DLC. Okay. Uh, these are really cool. They are fun. They are hard. They're challenging though. A lot of you guys have been hit me up about this. It is much more difficult with uh, a console uh, with the controllers than it is on PC with the mouse and keyboard. Okay. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the benefits to, of why you want to pass this challenge as well. However, this whole thing is pretty expensive. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean smash, smash that like button. Okay, let's get right into it. So I want to show you how to actually get it. So say you buy the bunker, right? Now you have a few upgrades you can go for. You can get the shooting range. I want to show you the shooting range because there are two different types. And there are two different prices, obviously. You have a shooting range that starts out at 740,000. It is the black targets with the red bullseye. And then you have one, the white targets, that's 845,000 with the uh, red bullseye. If you're going to do this, I would recommend go ahead and spend the extra money on the white targets because it's easier to see the red bullseye, okay? Now, once you get that, I do recommend to get the Mark II version of the guns, the Mark II upgrades, because that does help you out. And once you pass Tier 1, you get both the gold and platinum tints for your gun, but they're also $100,000. And then you also get your different capacity for your throwables. Five additional for each one of your throwables. So if it was like 20 grenades, you get 25 now, and so on. For passing Tier 3, you unlock uh, 12 articles of clothing. Okay, some t-shirts, some hoodies, and some caps. And you get forward and backwards caps. All right, so here are the throwables. I got 30 sticky bombs. I had 25 before. You get 10 proximities, which is nice. 15 uh, pipe bombs, 30 tear gas, 30 molotovs. I mean, that's really dope. You get a lot of cool stuff. I mean, that, that right there, the tier two, at the very least, is worth it because you can have more throwables, which really comes in handy. We all know that having extra stickies or proximities laying around really helps out. So that's really cool. I like that. And plus, I like getting, and here are the, the tier three, the clothing options. You go to your unlocks under your shirt category, uh, and then you got hoodies. That's the ammunition hoodie right there, which is really cool. I like having the stuff that people don't have. It's just rare. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty cool. Here's coil arms division. The coil is who makes the uh, the rail gun. You got Vom Führer. Yeah, the Vom Führer. It's cool. <laughs> the sweatshirt. Yeah, it's so old and ruined. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some of the cool shirts. You get the yellow uh, Shrewsbury logo. Shrewsbury is what makes the shotguns. You get the green Vom Fiera logo tee. Yeah, the green war stock is my favorite. You get the red coil tee and the uh, the black and white uh, Hawk and Little, I think, are just already there from just logging on. But those are some of the other gun shirts, too, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, you get some pretty cool shirts you get to have in there. Then we'll go check out some of the hats, too. Uh, and all this, I mean, you can you know, do different kind of customization. So, I mean, I, like I said, I love the war stock and carry cachet. Uh, our cachet and carry t-shirt. I mean, you spend enough money in Warstock, they should give you a damn t-shirt for free, you know. But yeah, the Warstock cachet and carry plus I had the ammunition hat on. And then the, the hats are cool because you could wear a forward and back or like a front and back, which is pretty tight, you know. You got the, uh, the red ammunition. You got the the black Von Fiora, yeah. You got the black Shrewsbury, uh, black Hawk and Little. You only get three of the caps, but the, the Von Fiora came with the, uh, the DLC. That one right there came with the DLC. The new ones are the Shrewsbury, the Hawk and Little. And then the uh, the red ammunition, which is pretty cool. And I'm about to show you, you have like a, a, a reverse side to it where you can wear them, you know, like back, which is pretty. I mean, it just depends on how you want your character to look. They're all cool, though. I like to show them all off because they're all related to the whole gun running DLC type kind of thing. But yeah, so for each one of the tiers, you get functional things. You get skins, which cost an arm and a leg, which I'm not sure if you want to do that. The other skins look way better, I think, are the tents or whatever. Um, you get... Uh, clothing, you get extra throwables. The throwables, I think, really are the biggest benefit. That should have been tier three, probably, and the clothes should have been tier two. But either way, it's all good. So, another really cool fact: if you're not, if say you're not, you're just not doing good. You know, you're not going to hit it, and you just want to restart. See where it says down the bottom right corner: hit the right arrow key to quit. You can hit the right arrow key to quit. Just back out and just redo it real quick. You don't have to go through the whole entire like you failed, failure, failure animation. So, uh, and then here in a minute, I'm going to get to my settings. I'm going to show you guys how I have my, cause a lot of people are asking, Hey, what are your settings? Are you on? Like, what's your, uh, your sensitivity? It's really not a lot about sensitivity. I mean, it, it, it does matter with that, but there are a few options that are more important than the sensitivity. And I, this whole video, I'm going to show you all the, uh, all the, the challenges that I passed and you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. 
at the very end. I and mean, this is sped up, so it's not like a crazy long video. Um, I mean, it's already 10 minutes. I get that. I apologize, but I want to make sure you guys see everything in its entirety. Uh, but you know, it's very important. Go for the headshots, 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 headshots. If you look at the uh, bottom right uh, corner of the screen, you see the multiplier. The multiplier goes up for every headshot. Now, not just the head, the bullseye in the head. So the more times you hit that orange bullseye, which is easier to see on the white targets, uh, your multiplier will go up. So you have to get four in a row for the first one, four in a row for the second multiplier. Your points go up from 15 to 30 to 45. And then you have to hold it. You have to keep it on that. Now, every now and again, you can miss here. Do not miss entirely because that will mess you up. Every now and again, you can kind of get off target a little bit, and that's all right. But you, you really don't have a lot of room for error, especially on Tier 3. All right, so you have to make sure that you're on point. And it just really just comes with practice. It'll just come with getting into the rhythm. Each gun has its own amount of shots, okay? Pistols and snipers take one shot to knock down the target. Uh, SMGs take, I want to say, three shots to knock down, the, knock down the target. The assault rifle takes six, and the carbine takes five. So five, you, know, you, get to, you, you, you get a feel for the bursts. You know, just be pa, bra, bra. You know, anyways, you, you'll get that. I'll, I'll show you that later. Here are the settings that I have. Now, this is what I use. I am a free aim assist player, okay, mainly. I do a little bit of free aim, but my but I have to switch up other controls for that. But when I'm on free aim assist, which is what I normally am on probably 90% of the time, this is how I have my, my shooting settings, okay? Third and first person look around and aiming sensitivity, I've notched up one notch from just being default. So I, I kicked him up one notch. You don't want your sensitivity too high because then you're all over the place. You don't want it too low because then you can't move around quick enough. You want to you, you find your own sweet spot. But yeah, that's how I have mine. The most important thing, the, the third and first person look dead zone. You want to turn all the way down because that eliminates all lag. It, it makes it resemble more like first person shooter. And then third and first person look acceleration, you want to jack all the way up, okay? You want to turn those all the way up, and that way it, it mimics the closest thing to like a Call of Duty or a Battlefield type kind of uh, first person shooter. It eliminates all the lag that naturally comes in the game. For some reason, the way they have it set up with uh, with GTA, they you know you have you have a little bit of lag with your controls. I, I don't know why it's like that, but they give you the option to turn it. But a lot of people don't know that. So turn down your dead zone and turn up your uh, acceleration. And then just find your own comfort zone with your your uh, aim sensitivity. So there's three different stats, really. And uh, there's a, a first person and third person. And make both of them the same. All right? Don't mess yourself up by having first person one way and third person the other. But as you see right here, you see how the, the key is to tag your multipliers. All right? Because, you know, on your higher tiers, tier two and tier three, you're at, you know, 3,000 points and, you know, 3,600 points for some guns. All right, so keep in mind, pistols takes one shot to knock down the target, then you can move on. Now, say you run out of ammo mid-target. Just move on. Move on to the next target, especially on Tier 3, because the target will just go away. It'll just go down, and then you if you miss the target entirely, it can mess up your multiplier. All right, so say so you're you run out of ammo, the target's still there, just reload, and then just move on to the next one, because by the time you reload and go to shoot the next one, you could actually miss that target because it just pops away and go, you know, and, and, and goes back down. And that happens. And sometimes targets will jump in front of you while you're shooting another target and it messes up your multiplier because you miss as well. You're off the actual uh, bullseye. And that, you know, those things are just going to happen. You know, there's, it's a combination of getting targets that are real good right up in front of you so you don't have to aim that hard. And, uh, and just, you know, a really good run, being accurate and being quick. And if you adjust your settings, I think you should be good. And those settings that I have that I showed you, that works perfect for first person and, or uh, for um, free aim and free aim assist. Only thing I switch are my actual control like buttons, like how I shoot and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, remember, pistols take one shot, SMGs take three, uh, assault rifles take six, carbines take five, uh, uh, heavy machine guns, the combat machine gun takes ten. Ten shots before it knocks down the target, and then snipers take one. So remember that, and you just get into your rhythm. All it's all, it's all about your rhythm. If you just hold it down and you miss like three after, it's gonna mess up your multiplier, and then you just ruin. You know, you start off with a bad kind of tempo. So find your rhythm. And some guns are like some guns are just you know, just quick little bursts. And you get to, that's really how you have to do it. If you just try and tap it, you're gonna go way too slow. You have to get that burst or let it go. You know, that's a five round compared to a 10 round. I apologize for my sound effects. I know that's probably, I'm going to get lit up in the comments for that. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels 
content in the game. Make sure you smash. I mean, smash, smash that like button. And if you guys got any questions at all, please let me know in the comments down below. You know, I do my best to get to these and answer them. But yeah, man, you guys know what to do. Stay dangerous. <laughs> we'll see the next one. Peace out.